Good morning and welcome. Today is Sunday the 9th of August and we are doing Sunday School still under lockdown. But you are very welcome and it's really nice to have you with me. My name is Lise Jennings and I'm one of the children's ministers for St Alfred's Seasolter Christian Centre. So today you are going to need some glue, some sequins, some pens, they don't have to be sharpies, scissors, maybe some post-it notes and some card. So if you want to pause it and go and get those things that you need and then come back to me when you've got that. Now the other thing I should have said is that you will need a Bible because that's the most important thing. So, let's pray. Father God, thank you that we can meet um, like this through Facebook. And I just pray, or YouTube, I just pray that you will enable us to learn more about you and deepen our relationship with you. Amen. So, today I want to show you my treasures. Okay, those of you that know me will know that I um, love unicorns and I also like DMs. Okay, so one of my treasures over here you're going to see is nothing better than a unicorn wearing DMs. Because I think that's pretty awesome. But I have another treasure and probably this is one of my most important treasures. Nova, come here. Nova, come. This sit good girl is Nova and she touch good girl is probably my most important treasure but let's have a look in the bible and see what God has to say about treasure so you're gonna have to find your bible good girl Nova's now staying and watching me the entire time good girl so you need to find Luke and we're going for Luke 12 verse 32 to 34 so you're looking in the new testament and it is matthew mark luke chapter 10 and then we're going from 32 to 34 so let me read it to you do not be afraid little flock for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom sell your possessions and give to the poor Provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out, a treasure in heaven that will never fail, where no moth comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart is also. Oh dear. I kind of suggest my treasures shouldn't really be my treasures. I wonder what your treasure is. So sharing that my treasure is my unicorns and DMs and my dog, what would it be that would be your treasure? But actually, God's saying something different there. God is saying that he wants us to think about what we treasure in our hearts. What is important to us? So our craft today is going to be making a treasure chest okay but i wonder what's inside this treasure chest so i have got i can see some treasure but you can also see some hearts so let's have a look these are things that will make god smile these are things that um we're, he would be pleased with and treasures that we can begin to store up in heaven. So showing love to others, that's what God values and that makes God smile. So I'll look at another one. Reading the Bible and praying. That helps us develop our relationship with God. Wanting wisdom and finding things out about God and how to use our, our treasures, the things that we do have wisely. Obeying God's commands. So these again are things that make God smile. Living like Jesus. 
and giving to those in need. The Bible verse talks about generosity. So I want you to have a look. So to make this craft, I cut out the shape of a treasure chest and then I coloured it in and then I folded it over and added the sequins and then the love hearts that are actually the treasure that they're talking about in that passage that God values. So I want us to think, some people treasure money so I've got here a purse, and surprise, surprise, it's got a unicorn on it. But I want to use this to pray. Lord, I pray that you will help us think about what you treasure and what you want us to treasure, the things that you want us to treasure. So Father God, help us to use the things that you've given us and use them wisely. Amen. So what are your challenges today? Well, you get a Bible journal, Luke 12, verse 32 to 34. But I want you to think of something that you can do that God treasures and makes him smile. And not just think about it, but actually do it. What is it that you could do? It could be donating to the food bank. It could be raising money for a charity. Or it could be helping someone out in need. All these different things that God treasures and wants us to treasure too. So I'm gonna say goodbye now, but remember, God isn't saying goodbye because he doesn't go away. He stays with you always. God bless, lots of love and stay safe. Bye.